And we're going to start reading in verse number 29. The Bible says, Being filled with all unrighteousness, fornication, wickedness, covetousness, maliciousness, full of envy, murder, debate, deceit, malignity, whisperers, backbiters, haters of God, despiteful, proud, boasters, inventors of evil things, disobedient to parents, without understanding, covenant breakers, without natural affection, implacable, unmerciful. But look at verse number 32. This is what I want to focus in on. The Bible says, who knowing the judgment of God, that they which commit such things are worthy of death, not only do the same, but have pleasure in them that do them. So these reprobates that have all of these attributes, it's not like, you, it, this isn't saying that, well, everybody is a reprobate until you get saved. Because you were disobedient to your parents, right? Because that's on this list. No, this is saying that the reprobate is filled with all of these things. Like this is what defines a reprobate. These are the things that, that is just, it's, that's why it starts off saying they're filled with all unrighteousness. It's just everything wicked. That's what, they're, that's what they're all about. And they know the judgment of God. And these reprobates, it's not that they didn't know God. They knew God and they rejected him. Okay, it's not like they didn't have a chance. They absolutely had a chance and they made a different choice. They know the judgment of God. They know that these things are worthy of death, but not only do they do them and just partake, partake in them and say, I don't care. You know, God puts a death penalty on this stuff. I don't care. I'm going to do it anyways. Not only do they do it, but they have pleasure in everyone else that does them. They enjoy the wickedness that they're into and the wickedness of everyone else that's like them. Now, these people that are being described here, these are some of the worst people in the world. These reprobates. They literally are. If you wonder why, how, how it's even possible for people to exist like the Jeffrey Dahmers of the world. How is it even possible? This is why it's possible. Because God's given them over to a reprobate mind. Now, I want to just make this point real clear. Jump up to verse number 25. Because God, there's a lot of attributes here, but there's something that we could, we don't always know who a reprobate is. You can't always tell. Because some people, they, you know, they've been rejected by God and they had, they're filled with these things on the inside. But, but we don't know that. Right? Just, just like the serial killers, so many people didn't know that they were serial killers. You know, they, they put on a good show on the outside. So, so you can't always tell. But there is, there is something that we can know. There is something that's demonstrated that is outward that people can show that will give us a sign that they have already been given up unto reprobation, unto a rejected mind. And if we look at verse number 25 here, the Bible says, who changed the truth of God into a lie. This is talking about the reprobate. They, they knew the truth of God. They changed the truth of God into a lie and worshiped and served the creature more than the creator who is blessed forever. Amen. So this is like their starting point. They hear the truth. They didn't want to know the truth. And they just changed the truth of God into a lie. They made up their own God. And, and just made up their own religion or whatever. And then it says in verse 26, for this cause. So that's the reason why. This is what started the whole thing. This is what, what God uses to give them up. It says, for this cause, God gave them up unto vile affections. For even their women did change the natural use into that which is against nature. And likewise also the men, leaving the natural use of the woman, burned in their lust one toward another, men with men, working that which is unseemly, and receiving themselves that recompense of their error which was meet. If you're wondering, if you've ever wondered, how is it that a man can want to be with another man, or a woman can just want to be with another woman? If you've ever wondered that, it's boggled your mind, and you're thinking like, whenever I'm confronted with this, if I ever think about this, I'm disgusted by it. I'm revolted by it. It's, it's just, it's, it's extremely nasty, sick, vile. How is it that, that there are some people that not only can do that, but enjoy it? And that's what they want to do. Well, according to scripture, that it's for this cause that God gave them up unto vile affection. What cause? The cause that we had just read in verse number 25. They knew the truth of God. They didn't want to have the truth of God. They worshiped and served the creature more than the creator, and they rejected God. 
That's the cause why these people even got to the state that they're in. That's the cause. They rejected God, and God in turn rejected them. This is why we have sodomites in the world. You could believe what the scripture says about it, or you could believe, you know, false, you know, science falsely so called. Because even science isn't going to tell you that they're born that way. They're, that's, that's what they want to deceive people and let people think so they can get more sympathy for their cause and just confuse people into thinking, oh, yeah, this is just the way that they're born. No, God doesn't make perverts from the womb. Because it is perverted, it's unnatural. That's, the Bible says it's against nature. They leave the natural use of the woman and they go and do things against nature, contrary to the way that God made them. God made us naturally. He made us naturally do certain things. He's given us a conscience. He's given us direction, even without having to know the scriptures. He, every human innately has these things. We have instruction. We have guidance. We have the conscience. And we have the, that, that guttural instinct. That's going to tell you that that's nasty. That's gross. That's perverted. God doesn't make perverts from the womb. They don't become perverts until God gives them over to be able to do that. So what it is, is, is that, that natural restriction that God has blessed us with, that we're endowed with, when someone becomes reprobate, that's removed. It's an easy way to think about it. That's just, that's just been removed. Now, not every reprobate is going to go after strange flesh. Not every person who's been rejected is going to go that route. But they easily can. Now it's not as big of a deal anymore. So some people, you won't see the outward manifestation. It might take a while. But when you start seeing people like the sodomites, that is a dead sure sign that they've already been given over to this reprobate mind. 